what's up guys Max here and welcome back to my dungeon today I'm going to follow up my latest video about uh, this uh, Radeon RX 6800 XT with uh, the EK water cooling block this water block is very nice uh, since aesthetically I really like it except that it's RGB and I don't like RGB but I can turn it to a good red team but anyway uh, this water block is nice yes since uh, the performance is quite uh, interesting since uh, with the card full overclocked uh, I was able to play at uh, 50 degrees more or less with a room temperature around 22 degrees and uh, the main thing is uh, the problem with the performance is not related to the water block itself uh, since it's very capable of uh, running this card uh, uh, very uh, cool, but the problem is in the driver or firmware of the car that uh, allows me only 50 megahertz more than with the stock cooler. So don't expect to see much performance gain since we are limited by AMD. The first game tested is Shadow of the Tomb Raider, high preset 4K. We gain 2 FPS that isn't much but considering that we are limited by the firmware the software is a good result since uh, this card is now very close to the 3090 overclocked in ray tracing we have a similar gain 2 fps on average and uh, 1 or 2 fps uh, in the lows in far cry new dawn sadly it seems that uh, we have no gain at all except of course uh, for the noise gain since uh, now the card is uh, virtually silent in Red Dead Redemption 2, once again, we have only 3 FPS of gain. In Godfall, we have 5 FPS of gain on average, and roughly the same of the 1% lows. It crossed my mind to retest as well this uh, GPU water-cooled with the 5950X, uh, since uh, it was the one of the Ryzen that was performing best. But uh, since Godfall, as you see here in this graph, uh, have a lot of bottleneck that I didn't truly really understand as today and I want to take uh, this topic uh, deeper so I will do more testing about this uh, and I, you will see the big Ryzen with this card uh, water cooled in the future. In World of Warcraft uh, this configuration was already at the first place and uh, with an uplift of uh, 2 FPS on average and 3 FPS in the 1% lows is the new first uh, position. As you can imagine, it's hard to feel the difference uh, from 2 FPS on average, but I did felt the difference uh, not having a GPU fan uh, spinning loudly, since uh, if you want to overclock this card with the stock cooler, you have to push the fan as well. In this case, to me, the value of this upgrade is quite high. In ray tracing we have the same 2 FPS gain, but uh, here in this graph I want to talk about something, since uh, as a Reddit user pointed out, uh, there's something wrong with the, the NVIDIA and uh, the RTX performance in World of Warcraft. This is something that I'm aware of and I'm already preparing a deep test in various zones to understand if it's a driver issue, if it's a zone issue or whatever. So you will see a dedicated video about uh, this topic. Alright guys, as I said at the beginning of this video, this is a very nice water block, it was easy to install it. If you follow the manual it's like one hour or something and aesthetically is very nice and I can run this card to the very limit that AMD gave us and from now on this will be my new CPU testing card since uh, it's very powerful, it runs great on World of Warcraft and uh, you will see more content about uh, how to power correctly this uh, card so I'm going to match every CPU, or at least uh, I try to match every CPU I have here that are a lot and with this card and show you the performance and uh, if you are running into CPU limited scenario. And now you know what to do. Hit the like button, subscribe, join my Discord server if you want a quick answer since uh, usually I cannot uh, answer to all the comments you write down below. I try, but join my Discord server. Anyway, I have a lot of content to shoot in, this two, in the next two weeks uh, since I will be on holiday, so no full time work and I have more time to create content here in this channel. So stay tuned and see you the next one.